cada noche estás tú. Desde entonces quiero darte siempre gracias, porque puedo darme cuenta de tu amor. Beberé de tu cuerpo y de tus ángeles y por siempre te daré mi corazón. Como creer en Dios Si me ha dado los hijos y la vida Como no creer en Dios Si me ha dado la mujer que vida Como no creer en Dios Si lo siento en mi pecho a cada instante En la risa as we offer the novena praying for them, the Lord may grant us our intention. And also we remember to pray for Sirso Kamayo. It's one month ago since God called him. Together with our different intentions, we now begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to build a contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came for sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant our Lord that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the second book of Kings. Shalman, Shalmaneser, king of Isaria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, the king of Isaria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Azaria setting them in Hala, at the harbor, a river of Gozan, and the cities of Mendes. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against God, against the Lord, their God, who had brought them out from the land of Egypt, from under the domin uh, domi domination of Pharaoh, king of Israel. And because they venerated other gods, they followed the rights of the nations whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel. And the king of Israel, whom they set up, 
And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoined on your fathers and which I sent you by my servant, the prophets. They did not listen, but were as stiff-necked as their fathers who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes, the statutes, the covenant which he had made with their fathers, and the warnings which he had given them until in his great anger against Israel. The Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have, kept, you have been angry. Rally us. Help and us, O Lord, and answer us. You have loved <coughs> the country and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us stupefying wine. Help and us with your right, right hand, hand, O Lord, and answer us. Have, have you not, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for what lessness what less is the help of man? Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern the reflection and the thoughts of the heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging, that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so you will be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you not a splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam? in your own eye. How can you say to your brother, let me remove the splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Key to understanding or capturing the two readings of today is what Jesus concludes with in the Gospel. Hypocrite. Hypocrisy is a term that we want to apply in today's reflection. We know for sure that it's always very hard for us to acknowledge our faults. And yet in acknowledging our faults, 
It helps us to know more who we are and also to accept and love others the way they are. Unfortunately, most of the time, we do the contrary. We find ourselves more comfortable in speaking about our strengths other speaking about our own weaknesses. We find it very hard to acknowledge and live our humanness with all its own imperfections. This is what Jesus calls hypocrisy, pretending to be what we are not, or pretending to know one thing and do the other. That is, having a feeling of one thing and doing totally a different one. Knowing one thing and doing the opposite. And we can take an example of the first reading. Of the Israelites as we listen to the reading who were privileged as a chosen race experienced God's divine intervention and for sure they knew that they were a nation that was set apart they knew they were a, a nation that enjoyed God's favors but we can see the hypocrisy in not translating their own knowledge into their practical life because the reading today reports how the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel. And the reading affirms that this happened so because of their own unfaithfulness. They never lived to the expectations of who they were. They even molded their own idols as gods, abandoning the God who showed them all the love. The intervention, even redeeming them from Israel. That's what hypocrisy can take us. Having a knowledge of something and choosing to do completely the other. In the gospel, Jesus wants such types of tendencies that we as Christians, we know The commandments he taught that are imbued in love. And it reminds us that our hypocrisy can kick in when we separate the love of God and the love of one another. The two are inseparable. And when we fail to leave that knowledge, then is some sort of hypocrisy. But above all, he challenges us in our dealing with one another. That we have to know that in a situation of misunderstanding, be it in the family, in the community, maybe at your place of work, it's always important to take responsibility, aware that the measure by which we measure is the same measure that will be measured out to us. How many times are we very fast in passing judgment and we're forgetting how we contribute to certain situations? And that's why Jesus opens in the Gospel of today telling us, stop judging and you'll not be judged. 
Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. And we can only do this that if we overcome our own hypocrisy and know that each one of us has his own weaknesses other than focusing on the splinter it's always very important to move the wooden beam from our eyes so that we are capable of seeing correctly ourselves to appreciate who others are and eventually appreciate who we are with our own weaknesses and with our own strength. That members of the clergy may be strengthened and guided by the peace and mind of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That national leaders may be led by the Holy Spirit in promoting the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have been armed by people, they may be trusted, may, be, may find solace through the merciful care and the blessings of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that each one of us here may have God's help in re repenting from our own sins and growing in holiness and virtue. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that those who have died, members of our parish community, members of our individual families, may be welcomed into paradise and live the fullness of God's presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Receive all of the sacrifice of consideration and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Lord's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, 
Blessed are those called the sap of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. I believe that you are here present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we receive with constant devotion may be our pledge, sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go for the Mass is ending. And enjoy the rest of your day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. One without an end. Lord Jesus Christ, we believe that you are here present as true God and true man. We raise our minds to your divine heart to adore you, to praise you, and to thank you. 
we humbly ask pardon for all our sins and the sins of all humankind. Together with you, we pray to the Father for the intentions of your sacred heart. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Apostles of Jesus, pray for us. Holy Martyrs of Uganda, pray for us. And all you saints.